Hello, good evening. Hello, Julio, good evening. Hello, teacher. How are you today, Julio? I am very, very good. Ah, okay, it's nice to hear that you are good. How was your day today? Um, it, my wife, it, it, it day is uh, very stressful. Ah, today was a very stressful day. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, but, yeah. you remember, but we are going to rest in an hour, right? So take it easy, right? Relax. We are going to learn. Relax. Yes. Yeah. Try to relax tonight. And hello, um, Luis. Hello, Mario. Welcome to the class. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. How are you? Hello, How teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you tonight? Was very nice. Nah, today was a very nice day. Okay, perfect. And what about yes. you? What about you, Mario? How was your day? Yeah, very nice. Very nice too. Okay. Okay, yeah. I'm happy that you have a nice day, right? But Julius' days was uh, stressful, he said, right? So I have a message here from your classmate. Let me see what they're wrote here and it says Morena. Okay. Hello, Jonathan. Welcome to the class. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Okay, very good. It's nice to hear that you are nice. Very good. So welcome to the class tonight. We're going to study or we're going to have a review of the simple past, of the simple past tense, right? We had been studying this in the last classes, right? And we're going to have a feedback today about that, right? We're going to have a kind of review. Especially we are going to see the WH word question, right? The information questions. So let's start with tonight's class, right? Let me show you the presentation of today. Let me know, please, if you can see it. I'm sharing with you the slides, sharing with you my presentation. Let me know if you can see it, please. Yes. Okay, yes. thank you. Thank you very much. So I'm going to hide this and I'm going to put this here. Good evening. Hello, hello, Isidro. Hello, Alpha. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Thank and you. this is the topic for tonight. WH question with did, was, and where. So we are going to have, we are going to study a lot of questions tonight. So let's start with the next exercise. So look at the next picture. Here we go. What did she do this morning? Look at her. What do you think? She was, she was resting. Asleep. Ah, she was asleep. 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 Okay. ¿Qué creen ustedes que fueron las actividades de ella para terminar así de cansada? What did she do this morning? She was doing exercise. Ok, she did exercise, muy bien, she did exercise. Any other idea? She did exercise. So, read the following ideas, right? I have here some ideas. So she did exercise for two hours. She did exercise for two hours. The next idea is she ran 10 kilometers. And the next one, she did aerobics. She did aerobics. And the next one, she played soccer. Probably she did 
and these activities, right? Or oh, one of these activities. She did exercise for two hours. She ran 10 kilometers and she did aerobics and she played soccer. So the question is, what did she do this morning? It's an information question. ¿Qué hizo ella esta mañana? And you say, she did exercise, she ran, she did aerobics and she played soccer. Any volunteer to read these examples, please? Thank you very much. Go, go ahead. What did she do this morning? She exercised for two hours. She ran 10 kilometers. No sé si, si se dice. Yes, kilometers, yes. That's right, she my did, partner. She plays soccer. She plays soccer, very good. She did aerobics and she played soccer. Thank you. Let's see the next picture. What did he do last night? Okay. What do you think he did last night? What did he do last night? He has studied. Okay, excellent. He, he studied. He studied. He studied the whole night. Él estudió toda la noche. So I have that sentence here. He studied the whole night. Very good. Then is, he read two books last night. Leyó dos libros en la noche. Then he did homework last night. He did homework last night. And he wrote a report. He wrote a report. Él escribió un reporte. So what did he do last night? This is another information question using did. What did he do last night? He studied, he read, he did, he wrote a report. So let's see. Así van a estar el jueves, right? Todo la noche del miércoles resolviendo lo que falta en la plataforma. <laughs> so any volunteer to read these sentences? Any volunteer? Thank you, Julio. Help me, please. Hey. Hey. I didn't uh, the world night. He read two books last night. He did work homework last night. He wrote a report. A report. Thank you very much. He wrote a report. Thank you. Let's see. What about this gear? What did they do last night? What did they do last night? So look at them. Any sentences? What? It's a what? What did they do last night? Help me. How do you they say? Were, they, they were in a party. They were in a party. Very good sentence. They were in a party. Ellos estuvieron en una fiesta. Any other idea? What did they do last night? So they, look. they were in a high school graduation. Oh, they were in a high school graduation. Oh, probably right. So let's see. They went to a party last night. They went to a party last night. And the next one is they danced. They dance a lot. They ate delicious food. They drank, they drank wine and champagne. They were really happy. They enjoyed the night and they toasted with their friends. So what did they do last night? They went to a party, they danced, they ate, they drank, they were really happy, they enjoyed. They toasted with their friends. All of them. All of them. Okay. Yeah, probably all of they did all of these activities, right? So any volunteer to read these examples? Is any new work in these sentences? Any new vocabulary in these examples? We no. teach Tell me, okay, Jonathan, 
You want to read the sentences? Thank you. Go ahead, please do it. What did do? What did they do last last night? They went to a Paris last night. They dance a lot. They are delicious fun. They drank wine and champagne. They were really happy. They enjoyed the nights. They trust and white their, their friends. Okay, thank you. Very good job. Thank you, Jonathan. Great job in this part. Thank you. So let's see, danced. We say danced. They danced a lot. They ate. They ate delicious food. They drank wine. Wine and champagne. And enjoyed. They enjoyed the night and they toasted. What is the last sentence? What is the meaning of the last sentence? They toasted with their friends. Do you have an idea what is the meaning of the last sentence? They toasted with their friends. Ellos departieron con sus amigos. No, not really. Toasted es cuando usted está con sus amigos, dice, brindemos, brindemos por la salud, por el amor, so toasted. Oh, brindaron. All right, yes. thank you. That toasted. is the meaning of the toasted. word, toasted. They toasted with their friends. Yes. They toasted with yes. their friends. Yes. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you very much, teacher. Toasted. Okay, my pleasure. Let's go oh, with this. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. ¿Qué significa toasted? <laughs> Se me quedó olvidado. Toasted. Brindar. Brindar, yes. Brindar. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, now let's look at this expression. We use this expression when we are talking in, in simple past, right? When we are telling what happened in the past, uh, sometimes we use this expression. Let's see, for example, last week, last month, last weekend, last Sunday and last night, for example, right? So you say, I went to a party last weekend. So el fin de semana pasado. I was sick last month. Estuve enfermo el mes pasado. I didn't work last week. Yo no trabajé la semana pasada. I was at the beach last Sunday. So I was watching a movie last night. So we use this expression, last week, last month, last weekend, last Sunday, and last night. We can also use yesterday, and if we want to be specific, but when yesterday? ¿A qué horas ayer? Then you say yesterday morning, yesterday evening, yesterday afternoon, and yesterday night. And also we can use this expression, the day before yesterday. So what is that? What is the meaning of that? The day before yesterday. In Spanish, we say antier, right? The day before yesterday. We say antier. So yesterday means ayer. Y si usted quiere ser más específico, usted dice ayer a qué hora son? Yesterday morning, yesterday evening, or yesterday afternoon. And even you can use yesterday night. Good evening. Hello, Felipe. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Then we also can use the following expression using ago. And you say 10 minutes ago. I ate dinner an hour ago. I arrived home uh, 10 minutes ago. I was at the shopping mall three days ago. I went to the park a week ago. I went to the church a year ago. Fui a la iglesia hace un año. So, hace. That is the meaning of this expression. Then let's go with the next. We can use in 1980. Podemos utilizar esta frase también in March on Monday. And you say, I studied English on Monday. I, I graduated in 1980. <laughs> I bought my car in March. So we can use all of this expression when we are 
speaking in simple past tense. So don't forget about then. We are going to use them in the following examples. So look at this. Where did you go yesterday? Where did you go yesterday? It's an information question, right? Where did you go yesterday? ¿A dónde fue ayer? Any volunteer uh, to answer this question? Did, did you say, yo fui? Yo fui al trabajo, yo fui a la escuela, yo fui al parque, yo fui in English. We say, I went. Say, I went to the park. I went to the beach. In this case, I went to the hospital. I went to the hospital. Yo fui al hospital. Let's see the next example. Hey, when did you get married? When did you get married? It's asking for a year, right? Time. When did you get married? Cuando se casó? Then you say, um, I got married 10 years ago. I got married one month ago. Oh, I got married in 2000, 2017, for example. So look at the example. I get married five years ago. So now let's fix this sentence. It is a mistake, right, in this sentence. It's in past, right? It's in simple past. What is the past of get? Got. Got. Okay. I'm going to fix this right now. Give me a second. So I got, I got married five years ago. Do you remember when did you get married? Cuando se casó, se acuerda? Ni quiero acordarme de eso. So when did you get married? Here you go, I got married five years ago. The next question, when was your graduation? Do you remember the day? When was your graduation? Cuando se graduó, when was your graduation? And then you say, my graduation was two weeks ago. My graduation was two weeks ago. Let's see the next example. When was the soccer match? When was the soccer match El Salvador between Canada? Sorry, versus Canada. El Salvador versus Canada. When was the soccer match? And you say it was. It was yesterday afternoon. This is just an example. Right? It was yesterday afternoon. Sucedió ayer por la tarde. So as you can see, we use this expression five years ago, two weeks ago, yesterday afternoon. And also yesterday, where did you go yesterday? I need two volunteers to practice these examples. Who wants to practice tonight? Hello, can you see my screen? Okay, I'm sorry, I'm not sharing with you my screen and you didn't tell me. Oh, here are the example. I'm sorry for that. I'm so sorry. I apologize because I didn't share the screen with you, but now you can see me. Can you see the presentation now? Yes. Yes, okay, I'm so sorry about this situation. So here are the examples I was mentioning before. Where did you go yesterday? I went to the hospital. When did you get married? I got married five years ago. When was your graduation? He you say my graduation was two years ago, three years ago, five years ago, 10 years ago. And when was the soccer match? It was yesterday afternoon. So two volunteers to practice in these small conversations. Who wants to practice tonight? Any volunteer? Okay, then let's choose Felipe and Isidro. Can you help me please? Felipe, you are A and Isidro, you are going to be B. 
Can you help me, please? Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you very much. I really appreciate your help. You can start. Okay, Felipe, what do you want? Where did you go yesterday? I went to the hospital. When did you go to get married? I got married five years ago. When was you, your graduation? My graduation was two weeks ago. When was the soccer match? It was yesterday afternoon. Thank you very much. This was excellent. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Now we are going to practice answering this question. When was the last time you? Cuando fue la última vez que usted? Let's see the first one. When was the last time you visited a friend? You can use this time expression to answer this question. Right? You say, I visited my best friend last week. Last month, yesterday morning, I visited my friend three days ago. I visited my... Okay, I'm sorry to hear that. Here we go. When was the last time you visited a friend, Luis? When was the last time you visited a friend? I visited a friend the, uh, the last week, the last weekend. The last weekend, excellent. Let's see the next one. When was the last time you took a shower, Isidro? You took a shower. Huh? When I, I, <laughs> I took a shower this morning. <laughs> okay, excellent. So, uh, very good answer. Thank you. Let's go with the next one. Alpha, when was the last time you cook a cake or a pizza? Oh, I cook cooking. I say I, I didn't cook. I didn't cook any of these things. The question is one. ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que cocinó un pastel o una pizza? <laughs> when was the last time? I, I didn't cook, partner. <laughs> okay. En el caso de Steelers, I didn't cook. Hace como un año. Ah, then you say. Ah, was I one cook. year ago. Okay, one year I, ago. I one year to go. Okay, yeah. sería, vamos, I cook a cake. Once one year ago. Right, cook a pizza, right? I cook a pizza one year ago. One year ago, hace un año. Thank you very much. Drank coffee, Felipe. When was the last time you drank coffee? ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que tomó café? When was the last time you drank coffee? Mm, I drink coffee this night, this Morning. Okay, excellent. I drank coffee this morning. Thank you. Let's go with the next one. Oh, Isidro is drinking coffee now. Oh, is it Atolito? Your microphone, Isidro. I'm sorry, it's a it, cup it, of coffee. It's ah, been okay. nice coffee. Ah, okay. <laughs> Champagne, right? Disfrazado de café. Champagne in the coffee. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hey, spaghetti. When was the last time you ate spaghetti? The last time you ate spaghetti. Julio, when was the last time you ate spaghetti? Um, I, I did. Mm, but... It's in past, right? Remember that the answer is in past. So you say, I ate. I, I, ate, I, ate, spaghetti. I ate. I ate spaghetti. Uh, uh, yesterday. Yesterday. But, okay, thank you. Clean your bedroom. When was the last time you cleaned your bedroom? Let's see, Nestor, when was the last time you cleaned your bedroom? I cleaned my bedroom 
the last weekend. Okay, excellent. Excellent answer. Thank you very much, Nestor. So let's go with the next. Uh, when was the last time you laughed really hard that made you cry? Do you remember this? When was the last time you laughed really hard that made you cry? ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que se rió tan fuerte o tanto que, lo, que hasta lloró? That is the meaning of this question. And I volunteer to answer this question. When I, when I saw a movie uh, about Jim Carrey. Ah, okay, thank you. Last month. <laughs> last month, it was last month. Thank you. Now let's see, when was the last time you helped somebody? ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que ayudó a alguien? When was the last time you helped somebody? And you say, I helped somebody this morning, yesterday, last week, one year ago. I helped. Any volunteer to answer this question? Okay, let's go with the next. When was the last time you had a toothache? When was the last time you had a toothache? Let me choose someone. Next or Ivan, when was the last time you had a toothache? Cuando fue la última vez que sufrió de un dolor de muelas? And you say, I had a toothache. I had, I had a toothache. Um, one year. One year ago. One ago. year ago. Excellent. I have a toothache one year ago. Perfect answer. Thank you. When was the last time you said, I love you? When was the last time you used this phrase? I love Ladies you. Ladies first. <laughs> When was the last time you said, I love you? I mm. said, I love you always. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. In this case, I say, I love you always to my wife. Thank you. That is impressive, right? But it's a good answer too. So, I said, I love you this morning. Okay. I said, I love you this morning. Thank you. When was the last time you cut your hair? On the weekend, I cut or, my hair uh, weekend. Last weekend. Last weekend. Last, last weekend. weekend. Or I cut my hair uh, two days ago before yesterday. Okay. Two days ago, you can say the day before yesterday. Thank you very much. Let's go the day the before yesterday. When... When was the last time you went to dance? <laughs> when was the last time you went to dance? ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que fue a bailar? My last dance was last weekend. Last weekend. Okay, that's very recently. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. So don't forget about this question, right? When was the last time you, and then you say the activity, right? When was the last time you visited a friend? When was the last time you ate? Uh, when was the last time you drank coffee? When was the last time you helped somebody? When was the last time you have a toothache or a stomach ache or a headache? And then you answer with simple past tense, right? You say, I had a tough age one year ago. I helped somebody uh, yesterday. I said I love you this morning. I cut my hair uh, two weeks ago or two months ago. In the caso de las señoritas, ¿verdad? no se lo cortan tan seguido. So you say I cut my hair one year ago. And I went to dance one week ago, three years ago, yesterday. So you can answer in simple past tense this type of question. Now let's listen, this is my conversation. WH question, right? So look at the first one, where did you grow up? We have already studied this question. What is the meaning of this question? Do you remember? Uh, 
Where did you grow up? Donde creciste? Yes, thank you. That is the right translation. Where did you grow up? Donde creciste? Let's see the other question. When did you come to Los Angeles? When did you come to Los Angeles? So it's another uh, information question. When did you come to Los Angeles? And what was your mayor is another one, right? What was your mayor? And we have another example. Uh, that is the last one in this conversation. So let's listen. Teacher, yes. I'm sorry. What does means? What does mayors mean? Mayor is la carrera que uno está estudiando en la universidad. What was your mayor? ¿Cuál fue tu carrera? ¿Qué carrera um, estudiaste? What was your mayor? Okay. Thank you. Okay, then I, I, we have here another example. Why did you become a hairstylist? He's asking for a reason, right? Why? Why did you become a hairstylist? So listen. So Chuck. Can you listen to the conversation? Could you listen? Okay. I grew up. Could you listen to the conversation? No, listen, good. Ah, oh, you can't listen. Just give me a second. Yes. I think I know what is happening. Let me fix this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Listen again. So, Chuck, where did Could you listen? Did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I so, Chuck. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990. I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money and I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, uh... Okay, so Chuck, where did you grow up? Así no I... se ve bien, teacher. Okay. No Miss... son mis lentes. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody has the same problem? Yes. Yes. I can see. Let me share with you it again. Okay. Internet connection. Okay, now can you see it? Well, no. Teacher, está bien. Lo que pasa que es la imagen de la derecha es la original Hoy y sí. la de enfrente no, es el, sí se ve. el reflejo. Bien. Ahorita sí se ve. Okay, thank you very much. So, Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990, I went to college here. Oh, what was your major drama? I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money and I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, mm, okay. ¿Creen que está conforme con el peinado la señorita? Is, is, she, is she happy? Is she happy with that? Así se peinan los japoneses, los chinos. No se peinan. Okay. Now look at these examples and we're going to look then in the next. So Chuck. A second. Okay, WH question we did was and where that is the topic for today. So look at this example. A information question, right? Where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. When did you come to Los Angeles? I came to Los Angeles in 1990. In 1990. Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. How old were you in 1990? I was 18. What was your major in college? It was drama. How was college? It was great. Now listen, listen this example. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. When did you come to Los Angeles? I came to Los Angeles in 1990. 
Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. How old were you in 1990? I was 18. What was your major in college? It was drama. How was college? It was great. Okay, I need to volunteer to practice in this question and answer. Who wants to participate? Who wants to try this? Any volunteer tonight? No volunteers. Me? Thank you. Any other volunteer? Me, teacher. Thank you, Alpha. You can, can you please start? Alpha, you are going to read the question and then you're going to read the answer. Luis, I guess you say me, right? Where did you grow up? I, I grew up, up oh, in Texas. When did you come to Los Angeles? I come to Los, Los Angeles in nineteen nine. Why did you come and hair style? Because needed the the money the money. How old were you in the 1990, 90, 90, 90, 90. 1990. <laughs> I was 18. What, what, what was your como, major in college? Yes, major. Uh, major. May, how much? Major. Major. Major in college. It was drama. How was college? Uh, it was great. It was great. Thank you. Great. Excellent job. Excellent job. Thank you, Alpha. Thank you, Luis. Very La otra good job. Hey stylist. Cosa? Uh, hair stylist. Hair stylist. Hair stylist. Yes, hair stylist. Thank you very much. Now let's see. Can you please answer the following question? How old were you in 1990? So I was. ¿Se acuerdan cuántos, ¿Cuántos, cuántos años, años tenía en 1990? Okay. What is the answer? Any volunteer to answer the question? I was oh. 20 years old. Okay. Thank you. I was 20 years old. Any other answer? How old were you in 1990? Hello, well, how are you? Ten years. I oh. was ten years old. Any other answer? How old were you in 1990? I was seven years old. Thank you. The last answer. How old were you in 1990? The last one. And you say, I was one years old. Excuse me, teacher, how was, uh, what was the question? How old were you in 1990? How old were you in 1990? Oh, I was, tw I was 20. Okay, excellent answer, thank you. I was 20. Uh, what was your major in college? What was your major in college? So it was drama. It was drama too. <laughs> it was drama, really? <laughs> Para yeah, los matemáticos somos lo mejor. Ah, okay. Major, ¿qué significa? Ah, oh, ¿cuál, ¿cuál era su carrera en la universidad? ¿Cuál fue tu carrera en la universidad? ¿Qué carrera escogió? What was your major in college? I was in account. Okay, so you say I was, uh, it was accounting. It was accounting, contabilidad. I was marketing. Okay, it was marketing. So you say it was medicine. It was teaching. It was psychology. I don't know, right? I don't know what did you study at the college? What was your major? So don't forget about the structure of these sentences. 
we are going to need a W's work, did, subject, the very present, and a complement. Look at the example. Why did you eat my dinner? So it's asking for a reason. Why did you eat my dinner? Ya les ha pasado, dejaron algo en la refri y se lo comieron. So why did you eat my yes. Why my, did you eat my food? My brothers. Yes, sir. <laughs> so uh, because it looked delicious and I was hungry. Eh, se miraba delicioso y yo estaba hambriento. So I'm sorry. Then uh, with the simple past with the verb to be, we're going to need the following structure. WH word. Uh, was or where subject and complement in the question mark. What was your favorite subject at high school? He said, my favorite subject was French. Do you remember this? What was your favorite subject at high school? My <laughs> favorite subject, it was uh, English. Is I'm sorry, partner. I'm sorry, ladies first. <laughs> okay, Alpha said uh, the break, right? The break was my break. favorite subject. <laughs> oh, the break. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> okay, oh, physical education, right? Physical education. Physical education. Uh, science, math, French, uh, social studies. So your favorite subject. So don't forget about this structure. It's important, right, that you learn. Where did you grow up? Now I have here another exercise. I need a volunteer to start. Who wants? Who wants to talk about their vacation? Let's start with Isidro. Can you help me, please, Isidro? Yes, sure. Let's uh, see. Question number you wanna, one. You want to read it? Yes. Where I'm did going... you go on your last vac? Where did you go on? Where did you go on your last vacation? Okay. I'm going to read the question and you're going to tell me the answer. Is it okay? Oh, <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, here we go. Question number one, where did you go on your last vacation? Um, uh, we went to Cerro Las Pavas, Las Pavas with my family. Okay, you were near to my house, right? I live in Cojutepeque. Oh, man. Thing. Let's go with the next question. How did you go there? How did you go uh, there? I drove. I drove my car. Excellent. What did you do there? Uh, hiking a lot. Okay. Excellent. What did you see? Uh, the nature. I saw. It was beautiful. I saw. The nature. I saw the nature. It nature. was beautiful. Nature. nature. It, it was beautiful. Thank you. Choose yeah. one of your classmates, Isidro. Choose one of your classmates for the next set Ooh. of questions. Miss Morena. He, he said Morena with us tonight. He asked for permission. Oh my God. So, Becca? Alpha. Ah, okay. Okay, Miss Alpha, can you help me, please? No. Okay, the question are about school. The first one is a yes, no question. Did you have a test yesterday? No, no, I didn't. No, I didn't, excellent. Very good. Did you get bad grade last week? Did you get bad grades last week? Sacó malas calificaciones en no, la I semana didn't. pasada? No, I didn't. Okay. <laughs> and the next question, what was your favorite school subject? What was your favorite school subject? Uh, I like uh, education. <laughs> <Educación física. laughs> okay. Physical education. I like physical, physical education. education. Um, <laughs> ciencias, science, science, and history. 
Okay, thank you. History too, okay, perfect. Now, choose one of your classmates. A quien escoge. Okay, Luis. Luis, okay, Mr. Luis. Here is your, it's about internet. Alpha, can you help me please uh, reading the question for Luis, please? Internet. internet. Did you send any email one hour ago? Yes, I did. Next question. Alpha, next question, please. Ah, ok, ok. Es que mi hijo se cayó y me están diciendo que es lo que radiografía le tengo que tomar. Si no, ok, 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 no problema. Ok, thank you, Sidro. Ok. Eh, did you send any email one hour ago? Yes, I did. Ok. Did you chat online yesterday? Uh, Yes, I deal with my boss. Good. Did you watch any videos on uh, the internet yesterday? Yes, I did. I watched. I watched TV. I watched a video. I watched a Jim Carrey movie on oh. the internet yesterday. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Luis sorry, is, sorry. One, is one of my favorite actor, actors. Oh, yes. Jim Carrey. Carrey. He's a very funny Jim actor. Carrey. He is very yes. good. Yes, uh, yes, yes. Luis, choose one with your classmate. Choose uh, one with your classmate, please. Felipe. Okay, Felipe. Are you still here with us? Let's see. Oh, he is in. Ah, oh, yes, Felipe. Okay. Okay, uh, Luis, can you read the equation for Felipe, please? Okay, did you read the book last month? No, I didn't. Oh, okay. okay. No, he what said... Was... What? Bueno, como su respuesta fue no, I didn't, ya no podemos hacer las otras. ¿verdad? What was it about? Acerca de que fue la lectura. What was it about and did you like it? Why? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ya no but podemos I seguirle don't, preguntando. I don't like it. Short, short yeah, answer. <laughs> ok. Short answer. Es, escogió la respuesta correcta. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> ok, Felipe, choose one of your classmates. And here is about a sport. Yes, no question about sport. Julio. Julio, hey. okay. Okay, Felipe, can you read the question for Julio, please? Did you go going go in the morning? Jogging, eso es trotar. Did you go jogging in the morning? Uh, no, I didn't. Next, please. Did you go skiing last winter? No, I didn't. Did you swim last summer? No, I didn't. Did you train yesterday? Entrenó eh, ayer? No, 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 I didn't. No, you didn't. Okay, very good. So choose one of your classmates, please. No importa que haya participado, puede escogerlo de nuevo. Teacher, I'm sorry. Yes. Uh, what does uh, skin means? Esquiar, esquiar. Did you go skiing? Oh. Fuiste a esquiar el invierno pasado? Skin. Okay, thank you very much. And jogging, trotar. Yes, trotar. Thank you. The next set of uh. questions is about birthday. Adonia. Adonías, ok. Can you read, please, the question for Adonías? Uh, where did you celebrate your last birthday? Uh, 
In in my house. Okay, thank you. Next question. Okay. How many friends did you inv invite? Invite. Invite. How many friends did you invite? Um, I invited ten friends. Friends. Next okay. question. Friends, did you you get? What mm. present did you get? ¿Qué regalo recibió? You can say, I got a new cell phone, new shoes, money. Mm, money. I, got, I got. I got. I got money. Money. Okay. Very good answer. Thank you. The last okay. one. Okay. What did you eat and drink? I eat chicken and chicken. Okay, chicken. I ate chicken. And drink? I ate chicken and I drank. I drank. I drank beer. I drank, drank or, uh, chara. soda. Soda, okay, soda. Just, just soda, okay. right? Okay. Let's do the next one. It's about shopping. Any volunteer to answer this question? Did you go shopping last week? Did you go shopping last week? It's a yes, no question. So you say, yes, I did. No, I didn't. Did you go shopping last week? Yes, I, I didn't. Okay, yes, I yes, did. I, I what did. did you buy? What did you buy? You say, <laughs> shoes, clothes, food. What? Okay. Can you please say again your answer? What did you buy? A perfume. A perfume. A perfume. Did you go shopping alone? Fue usted solo? Yes, I did. No, I yes. didn't. Yes, I did. Okay. How much did you spend? Until mm, dollars. Okay, excellent, excellent answer, thank you. Let's go to the next. How's work? Did you clean your room last Friday? All of them are yes, no questions. So you have to answer yes, I did, or no, I didn't. Did you clean your room last Friday? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Did you water? Yes, I did. Did you water any plants yesterday? No, I didn't. Them? No, I didn't. Okay, se le va a secar el jardín. The next one. Did you iron yesterday? Did you iron yesterday? No, I didn't. No, you yes, didn't. Yes, I did. Okay, yes, you did. Iron planchar. Iron is planchar. Yes. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Good. Did you drink three cups of coffee yesterday? It's a yes, no yes, question. I did. Okay. Yes, I did. What? Yes, I did. <laughs> okay, perfect. What did you eat two hours ago? It's an information question. What? What did you eat two hours ago for dinner? And you say, I ate. I ate vegetables, meat, chicken. Did your mom cook yesterday? Hello. Did your mom cook yesterday? It's a yes, no question. Yes, she did or no? Yes, she, she did. Didn't. Yes, she did. Okay. And the last okay. one, did you eat any fish last week? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, you didn't. Let's see the last set of questions here. Yes, no question and information question. And the last one is about TV. Did you watch TV yesterday? Yes, I did. yes, I did. What did you watch? 
Um, theory, the Big Bang. Okay. The Big yes. Bang Theory. Okay. With Lena. Zombie film. Rush. I, I saw a zombie film. Okay. Zombie movie. Okay, very good. Did you watch it alone? No, I watched I watch it. I watched with my wife. Okay, excellent. Very good. Very good answer. Thank you. Okay, the last activity for today, uh, you are going to work with your classmate and you are going to discuss just one question. The following questions. Let me share the question for you. And it's this. It's easy. You are going to discuss this question with your classmate. What did you do yesterday? What did you do yesterday? Or oh, what did you do last weekend? ¿Cuáles fueron sus actividades ayer? And what did you do last weekend? Okay, so you are going to, ya tienen las preguntas. What did you do yesterday? What did you do last weekend? So you have to say at least five activities, right? Five activities that you did yesterday or the last weekend. Are you ready? Is it clear? Ready. Okay. Yes. Okay, what did you do yesterday and what did you do last weekend? So let's make the group. We are going to have like five minutes, five minutes to complete this, right? So we are going to create, let's see. Three groups. Here we go. So what did you do yesterday? What did you do last weekend? At least five activities that you did. See you in a minute. Néstor, Alba, ¿no les llegó la invitación para unirse a los grupos? Hello, Mister. Do you have a problem? Do you have a problem to enter to the breakup room, Mister? Hello, Mister. Do you have a problem? Hola. Hola, Néstor. ¿No le llegó la invitación para unirse a los grupos con sus compañeros? Ah, sí, tenía un poco de problema, pero...
one hour. It's time to it's time to back with the teacher. No, how are you doing? Did you finish? And let's see, for example, Luis, what did you do yesterday? Hello, teacher. Yesterday I did I did homework. Uh, I worked in the morning. And after I went to, I went to, uh, I went to receive classes okay. to draw to drive. Oh, driving classes! I had yeah. driving classes. I had driving classes. Yeah. Uh, and I came home. I came home at seven p.m. Okay, thank you very much, Alba Marisol. What did you do yesterday? I the morning was uh, work. Okay. Uh, and p.m. I'm class. I had classes. I had class. Okay, and? Solamente. Okay, thank you. What about you, Nestor? What did you do yesterday? I get up at um, five in the morning. I was all working today. Okay, I was I working. At my house at 7 p.m. Okay, I arrived home at 7 p.m. Thank you very much. So you did a great work. See you in a minute with the rest of your classmate. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hello, Alba. Hello, Nestor. Hello, Luis. Hello, Isidro. Welcome to the class again. How was your practice? It was very nice. It was very really nice. Good, really good. Very good. Okay, many excellent. Many things. Many things for doing. Okay, you did a lot of things yesterday and the last weekend. Okay, the last weekend, time. yeah. Time is over for tonight class. So thank you very much for being here with me. Okay. Have a good night and see you tomorrow. Tomorrow we are going to we're going to see the final test, right? We are going to see what is in the final test. And then tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow. Now oh we're going, we are going to see, right? What is in the final test? In case that you have any question, any doubt about the final test. Uh, we still have two classes, right? Um, Wednesday and Thursday. So see you tomorrow at 8 p.m. Don't miss the class, okay. please. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Okay. Good, good, good night. Have a good night. Good see night. you tomorrow. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye.